Adam Freeman, Rivals.com, here with one of the best players in the 2022 class with Travis Shaw, uh, five-star defensive tackle from North Carolina, has an offer from every school you can imagine out there. He can really pick where he wants to go. Uh, been in the news a little bit lately, though. You're a little a little upset with people putting in their uh, predictions about your recruitment, uh, you know. but there are some, some pretty good options there for you. I think some people are pretty close to uh, where you might end up, but uh, let's talk about tell me, some of your top suitors right now. Which ones do you feel like have been just really building good relationships with you throughout this recruiting process? Um, really, you know, from my top 13, you know, every school on there is showing major love. Uh, but as, as we keep going through this recruiting process, you know, things are going to have to get slimmer. Things are going to have to get real. So, uh, you know, from those top 13, you know, little by little, you're going to see a school coming off. But, you know, it's it's all love between all, th all 13 of those, you know, because you can't go wrong with either one of them, no mm -hmm. matter what's going on right now or what's going on with the coach that is that third. You got good players everywhere once you get to college. So, I mean, um, so, yeah, as this recruiting process goes along, you know, I'm just trying to take it easy bit by bit, you know, figure out what's, what's the best for me, what's the best for my family, you know, to see the bigger outcome and let instead of just, you know, being the name that I got, because once you get to college, it, it ain't no names, it ain't no stars or nothing like that. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Start for square from square one again, right? When you get to exactly. the next level. Once yeah. you get the once you get to college, it's like you're going back to elementary school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, uh, some of those schools that I know are really in the mix for you right now. We'll start with the two that I think are the favorites: uh, North Carolina and Clemson. Um, let's start in state. Uh, I know you have a lot of connections there with North Carolina. What is it about the Tar Heels that you find so interesting? I mean, it's home. You know. Is right there at home, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, like some of the kids that's that's went there, that's enrolled this year. You know, we played against them last year, so uh, you know, we really got a good understanding, a good feel for uh, how each other plays. You know, uh, like the guys like Ra Ra and um, you know players like that. You know, those are I like those players, those type of players. You know, they got the dog in them. You know, that's gonna talk junk to you. When we on the field, you know what I'm saying? So and then after, after the lines, outside of the lines, you know, it's like all love, you feel me? So mm -hmm. just just stuff like that, you know, the coaching staff, um, I mean, I think I want to say almost every coach, every, every uh, whatever you want to call them, um, recruiting person there, I want to say everybody there got my number. So, you know, I'm getting texts from everybody every day. So, you know, um, really it's just, you know, it feel like I'm already like, I'm already into college. Like they already know me. They already know everything about me. Um, it's just, you know, just family, like mm -hmm. just family. Every recruit is looking for a place where they can call home, a place where they can feel like it's family. So it's just like a home away from home, basically. Sure. And how about Clemson? Those guys over there have a ton of connections to you as well. I know one of your mentors, one of your, one of your idols, I guess, uh, went to school there also. Tell me about uh, your interest in Clemson at this point. Um, yeah. Clemson is really high, you know, Coach Bates, Coach Bates, that's my guy. That's my guy. Coach Bates, he, I'll be at practice and I come home from practice. I had like seven mixed tests from him. And I was like, dang, Coach Bates, I'm at practice. I ain't text you back. So, you know, he just like, and when I'm at practice and he texts me and I'm not texting him back, he thinks, you know, some, I'm texting somebody else or some things like that. So it's just crazy, you know. But uh, my guys at Clemson, you know, I love those guys. Uh, they they owe me they owe me hard too they owe me hard too I'm in a group chat with uh, almost every coach so yeah I like those guys a lot too they you know they got they got a good they got a good program got good great head coach you know uh, I talk to Dabo a lot he he keeps it real um, coach Coach Sweeney Coach Dabo uh, who else Coach Venables Coach Venables Coach Venables texts me a lot Coach Venables probably texts me more on Instagram do you do anything oh. but yeah. I love those guys. Very good. Well, those are only two of the schools that, that are in your top 13. There are a lot of other ones. I want to hit on a few of them pretty briefly here. Uh, Georgia, Florida, and Florida State, all, all schools that I know you're pretty high on right now. Georgia, especially uh, with the way they've recruited the Carolinas uh, in the past few years. What is it about Georgia and, and then the two Florida schools that you're so in? Why are you so interested in them? Uh, Georgia uh, with Coach Scott, you know, when I, ninth grade, when I first started getting recruited, when he came, you know, it was just like, it was like, he was just, he was like, he was like, he was like right there. Like he got, he, he like a younger dude. So, you know, he got all the, 
he got all the gist of what the young guys do and what the young guys say. So it was like, we clicked from day one. It was like, um, like I can talk, not saying I can talk to him any kind of way, but the, the way that I can talk is, is, is not more of a professional level. It's like a, you know, it's like a, he get what I'm saying. Like, stuff like that. Yeah, most definitely. So Didn't coach Kirby, you can take the helicopter out to one of your games that year. Is, we was playing, we were playing, who were we playing? I want to say we was playing Northwest, a basketball game. We were playing Northwest. And we had a, we had a, um, an assembly. We had an assembly. And next thing you know, it just get loud out of nowhere. And we're in an assembly. I didn't know he was coming. We're in an assembly. And next thing you know, they're like, it's a helicopter flying over. So I'm like, what? I'm like, a helicopter. And then that's when coach come pull me out. And then everybody just started looking at me. And I was just like, whoa, wow, like, this is crazy. That's what really made me fall in love, too, because, like, like that's that's coming out of the way. That's coming out of the day to come come fly a helicopter to a school to see a person. So mm -hmm. that was, I feel like a celebrity right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how about those two Florida schools? And then we'll hit on a few other ones. What about those those two Florida schools, Florida and Florida State? Uh, Florida State, you know, they got a lot of, um, they got a lot of, um, you know, they got, uh, coaches, they got real good coaches, you know. Uh, they know what they're talking about from through the, what we text me, you know. Um, the relationship that they're building, you know, is getting there. We're getting there with that. And then, you know, Florida. Um, wait, I talked about Florida State first, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Florida. <laughs> uh, Florida um, got Coach Coop, Coach Guy like that. You know, they, those guys text me a lot, too. Uh, I be getting texts from them. I be going to runs around six, and I be getting texts from them. Like, want to be the first to tell you good morning, things like that. So it's just like, you know, they doing everything they can. They doing everything they can. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, another a couple out of state schools. Ohio State and Oregon, uh, two two big time programs out of the Big Ten and the uh, Pac-12. Uh, let's start with Ohio State. Coach Larry Johnson's the D line coach up there. Have you ever been up there before? Have you gotten a closer look at Ohio State yet? Say it one more time. Have you gotten a closer look at Ohio State yet? Have you been able to get up there yet? No, nah, I haven't went to them, no. Okay. What, what's your interest like in Ohio State? What do, you, what do you find so interesting about them? Oh, yeah. It's up there, too. You know, um, they had one of the, uh, you could call it most most productive, one of the most disruptive D-line D -line, D -line last year in Tejan. So, I mean, um, so obviously he knows what he's doing. Coach Larry Johnson, you know, um, Coach, I talk to them a lot too. Coach Larry Johnson, Coach Day, um, yeah. So they know what they're doing. They know the coaches staff. They know what they're doing. They got they got a real tough team, you know. Um, they took it on the chin this year, but you know they got they got they, yeah they something special. <laughs> How about Oregon? Uh, and what's your interest in, like in uh, in the in the Ducks out there? Oh, you know the Oregon Oregon. You know I fell in love with Oregon when I was young, just because of all the uni combos and everything they got. Um, I, I want to say, and then because when I used to play with, one, play with him on the game, they had a running back that I used to like. So I used to just go OP with him, but I forgot what his name was. That's but awesome. yeah, the Oregon Ducks, yeah, I like them too. I like them a lot. And two other schools that were in your top 13, both of them with uh, new coaching staffs is Auburn and South Carolina. Are you in touch with those new staffs? And, and, and what's your interest level like in those guys now that they have new coaches? Um, they, we're, we're, you know, we're getting there, but um, like I said, uh, with the new coaching staff, you don't know like what's going to play out, how's going to play out. So really, this year, I'm just looking to see how everything's going to play out on both of those schools. You know, see how the new coaching staff can come in and get the kinks out and stuff like that. So really, just you know, taking this year, you know, like I said, and really sucking it all in. You know, figuring out, you know, starting to narrow it down a little bit more, things yeah. like that. Well, how are you going to narrow things down now? Are you going to try and take some visits? Or are you going to kind of slow play this until the fall? What, what do you think? Uh, well, I'm definitely going to have to take some visits, you know, just to get on campus, just to see if over the social media, if the same love is there in person, you know. So you definitely got to do that. Um, you know, and then more of it is just, you know, sitting down with my family, sitting down with my high school coaches, you know, talking about what's best for me, things like that. So it's, it's a long process. But the process is starting to come, like, shortly come to an end. So, you know, things got to get picked up quickly, you know, stuff like that. So, sure. exactly. I see. All right. Very good. Well, Tra Travis Shaw, five-star defensive tackle out of North Carolina. Thanks so much for your time. We appreciate that. Good luck with the rest of your schoolwork and uh, this basketball season, too. Good luck. I appreciate it. Thank you.